how did you get the name Plug In Stereo? Um, I got it. Um, I started on the internet. And I, I was going by my name Trevor Doll in the beginning, mm -hmm. and then uh, after a while, I, I, my influences at the time have been doing monikers like stage names instead, and so I thought it was a cool idea. And uh, I was 16 at the time, so I just did it for fun, and then mm -hmm. I haven't changed it. So I was just kind of stuck with it ever since. So. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you mentioned your influences. Who are your influences now? My influences now are, well, the Beatles have always been a big influence for me, and so I, I've listened to them since I was little, and I still listen to them all the time, but uh, John Mayer has become a really big influence for me. Um, who else? I like also like bands like, uh, a band called Hyam is a really big influence for me right now. Um, Ed Sheeran, oh, he's really yeah. great. Uh, yeah, a lot of different stuff. Whatever I'm feeling that, that week, I just kind of change. <laughs> like very like vibe, like good vibe. Yeah, yeah, for the most part. Like yeah, nothing too negative or anything. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good yeah. for, you know, your image. Yeah. Um, how did you like working with Megan and Liz? How was, it was that? great. They're very, very sweet. They're really nice girls. And uh, that came just kind of happened organically. I wrote the song with my two friends, uh, Morgan Taylor Reed and Sean Douglas. And um, yeah, after a while, um, we had the song done. We were just looking for a different way to like change the song up and give it a different dynamic. And uh, we, uh, I had no Megan and Liz because I played with them a year before mm -hmm. in Nashville, and so we hit them up and asked if they wanted to do it. And nice. They liked the song, and so I flew to Nashville and hung out with them for a few hours and recorded the vocal, and yeah, it was great. It's really nice. What do your friends back or and family back home think of like your successes so far and everything that's happened? Um, they think it's great. But a lot of my friends come on tour with me. So like, I have a oh, close little niche awesome. of friends, like my camera guy dude, you? Jared, <laughs> is my good friend, and uh, I've noticed it's first grade. Oh, wow. My brother plays bass and percussion with me. Um, oh. My sister comes out with us sometimes. Uh, my tour manager I've been friends with since mm -hmm. eighth grade. So it's all just keeping the family, you know? Oh, wow, so, very close. Yeah, that's it's fun. good. Yeah, I like it that mm -hmm. way. Um, what was it? One Direction. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. One Direction. How, how did you get to do that? How was that? That was it happened by chance. It was like I wrote a song for me. I wrote, mm -hmm. me and, uh, I wrote the song and then... I ended up not wanting to use it, and I kind of sat around for a while, and uh, I thought it was a great song, but I didn't think it worked for my style or where I wanted to go. So, uh, yeah, I sat around for like four months or something like that, and uh, got an email one day saying that they wanted to use it, and I was like, absolutely, I would love if they used it. So, it was How a, did they, sorry. Oh, yeah, no problem. How did they find out about it, like, that they wanted to use it? Did, did you put it out there? So? Yeah, so whenever, like, I, whenever I don't write a, whenever I write a song and I don't want to use it for myself, mm -hmm. I, I pitch it to my publishing company, and they, and they pitch it to different artists and whatever, so... Yeah, so they, they, they heard the song and they liked it. They were looking for some acoustic style songs. Wow. And so, yeah, it worked out really well. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite song that you've written so far? That I've written so far? Um, on my new EP, it always switches every day. I'm always like, oh, I like this one or this one. So it's always back and forth. It's like, yeah, it's kind of hard to choose. But um, right now, I would say either To Be Wanted or a song called Don't Say Goodnight. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, they're both, To Be Wanted is the first song on my new EP, and Don't Say Goodnight is the last song on my EP. So, okay, cool. Yeah. Are you okay. planning on um, releasing any new songs soon? Yeah, I just put out an EP on the 7th, so it was a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and so uh, we're doing a new album this year. I'm going to be working on that, so just working a lot and writing and then picking my favorite 12 for the album, so yeah. 12? Why not? Or just about 11, 12. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Around there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. What's, it, um, what's it like going on tour with Cody? It's amazing. This, this tour has been really, really great. Mm -hmm. Every show's been sold out so far, and I think almost all the shows sold out on the whole tour, wow. so it's crazy, yeah. yeah. It's definitely a new experience for me, because mm -hmm. um, other tours we've done in the past have been smaller, so this is crazy, and like the kids have been wild, especially yesterday in Montreal, the kids, I've never heard a crowd so loud in my life, oh my so gosh. it's great, yeah. Wow, yeah. so Montreal. Is this a lot different yeah. from what you have done in the past, like, opening for him? Yeah, it's definitely a different, a different style of tour. I've, I've done a lot of tours, I've done like 10 tours, mm -hmm. whatever, so this is a little bit different, because you usually do full band, and so this is an acoustic tour, so yeah. it's a little bit different vibe live and a different setup with practice mm -hmm. and everything. But it's really cool because you get, the kids get to hear more of an intimate style setting, yeah. and uh, they really get to hear us play our instruments rather than like mm -hmm. tracks and drums and crazy yeah. stuff, kind of washing things out. Mm -hmm. You really hear everything that we do, so yeah. it's cool. A little bit more pressure, but it's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you prefer, acoustic or the full band? Um, that's tough. I think it's a totally different vibe. I think. I don't know. It's kind of hard to choose. I like both a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really enjoying this tour so far, and I was kind of nervous for it. I was like, oh, acoustic, you know, it's really kind of <laughs> sketchy. You're putting yourself out there, you're being vulnerable. But uh, yeah. but I really enjoy it, because I, I think it's made me a better musician. It's made me practice a lot more, and maybe really focus on not messing up. So. Yeah, I think that's what people like, is when like, you're vulnerable, and it's kind of like yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I just try to talk to the crowd and have it really be intimate, and yeah. have a conversation, rather than 
having a speech. You know what I mean? So, yeah. 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 In this oh, type of venue, nice and intimate. Yeah, totally. And then everyone's sitting down, which is, I'm not used to that at all. This, this is the first tour we've ever done where kids sit down in certain stages. Um, some of the shows people have been standing up, but like two or three of them. This will be the second, I think, that people will be sitting down, which is new to me, but it's cool. Yeah. Hopefully I can make them stand up anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What would you describe yourself as? Like, what type of person? Oh, I don't know. That's tough. I'm usually pretty relaxed. Mm -hmm. I'm really chilled out for the most part, but a I'm, not, I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, I'm a vegetarian, yeah. But I'm not afraid to, to speak up and, and get uh, vocal when I need to. And, and yeah, I don't know. I usually just chill out. I don't like to do too many crazy things. I like to hang out with my friends and, yeah, write music and produce music and where I work with other artists and stuff. So I just like, my life's consumed by music and, yeah, it's fun. If you didn't know your age right now, how old would you say you were? Oh, if I, if I didn't know my own age? Yeah. Oh, good <laughs> like if question. we weren't told our ages, you know? Well, I don't know. That's tough. I don't know. How old do I look? How old do I act? I don't know. I can't really get... I don't know. Like, what would you say you are? Like, what's your age range? Yeah. 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 Yeah.